All right, strangest things found on Google Earth. Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Thanks to Google. Always love it. Always love when we start with a threat. It's been a while. I've been missing it, actually. I feel like I haven't been threatened enough as of lately. So I'm, I'm glad we're threatening each other again. Google's incredible repertoire of mapping tools, we've been able to explore the surface of the moon, swim deep in the ocean, or experience bird's eye. Can you threaten us? No. What do I threaten you with? What do you guys not want to happen? What are you guys looking forward to the least right now? <laughs> Make sure you sub or you'll have to crawl inside a frilled shark and cut your way out and then write a book about it. From the Sandy Islands to the Crabzilla, here are the... I'm sorry, what? Sandy Islands to the Crabs... Look at this! This is literally like the... We watched a whole ass Photoshop tutorial on how to make fake Crabzilla images. This is like picture perfect the exact tutorial that we made i can literally tell exactly how this image was made and then why when it zoomed in in this image is it suddenly clearer why is it like dark here but here it's so clear oh i love it here are the strangest things found on google earth all right number 10 yep. gigantic alligator cool 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 so then if that's a real like gigantic alligator if i like google alligator Oh, alligator transparent. Thank you, thank you, Whirly. Alligator transparent. Add top down. Okay. Ah, there we go. Alligator transparent top down on Google Images. Interesting. Very interesting. Must be real though. A mall in Dubai found an alligator and had him delivered to them from Australia. The alligator is one of the biggest of its species, reaching almost five meters in length. What? And yes, almost 1,600 Wait, they're not talking about the photo? Imagination run wild and see for yourself how big that really is. The alligator is expected to grow consistently for almost- They're just talking about a real alligator that was transferred from an aquarium? What, what was that image in the beginning then? 50 years. But that is nothing compared to the alligator shadow, which was found on Google Maps, also in Dubai. The ah. alligator was expected to be <clears throat> as big as a two-story house and was measured to be 10 meters. Two-story house? He said this is measured to be 10 meters? Homie, these are skyscrapers. And he towers over them. This is not 10 meters. This is a whole ass island. The two-story house is like the tip of his nose. Two-story house is one of these specks on the beach. Yeah, 10 kilometers maybe, 10 miles. People have said that this picture was photoshopped, but gigantic alligators have existed years back. Sarcosuchos wrote- Okay, Sarcosuchos is not even remotely comparable to something that is the size of an island. Sarcosuchos is just a mildly larger version of modern alligators. ...around the earth for centuries, millions of years back. They ruled the earth for a really long time, but that was- I love how anytime like videos like this talk about like ancient creatures, like extinct animals, they always say ruled the earth. Is there a consensus on who ruled the earth? Because I feel like it's constantly like this creature ruled the earth and this creature ruled the earth and then this creature ruled the earth. Like they can't all have ruled the earth. Sarcosuchus was probably just like a normal mid food chain animal. <laughs> Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you. Oh, take it's one of these, the challenges. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit Ugh. the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Has this ever worked? It absolutely works. Telling people to subscribe to your videos absolutely makes people subscribe to your videos. I remember I told you guys the one time that I was like telling people to sub to my, I told my people to sub one time and that video got like five times as many subs as every other video I've ever done. So please sub, but like, yeah, it absolutely makes a difference. So I understand why they do it. It's just cringe as fuck and that's why I don't do it. Take the Sandy Island in the Pacific Ocean, which showed up on some maps, but not on others. In reality, there's nothing there and has since been removed by Google Maps. It's not entirely an error though, as the island has been showing up on maps since at least 1876. It was first recorded by a whaling ship called Velocity. Okay, so it's a shallow land layer. 
and as the water, the tide rises and falls, it's revealed and non-revealed. Is that the conclusion here? So it's on some maps, but not on others. And the interesting thing is that it's not blurred. It has been completely wiped out from records of Google Maps. Can the government be behind this? We might never know what goes Why? on. Why? Why would the government remove Sandy Island, a tiny island? Also, the government. This is an Australian island. It's a little outcropping right off the coast of Australia. What is the government? This seemingly cruise missile image was taken while sailing freely over the United States. We don't know how the government allowed the missile to fly over civilian areas, but it sure looks real. However, others thought it was a jet, but with dark wings. If folks from Utah are listening, rest assured that it's not hurt anyone. Number seven. What? How was that on Google Earth? Who found that on Google Earth? That was a video. That was just like an image from the ground. It's not even related to the title whatsoever. Who We've seen this one before. Didn't we watch an entire video like dissecting this Spiderzilla thing? I think we watched an entire video on this. On an island in the middle of the ocean, Mexico Greek found an unusual thing in one of the images they obtained of the island from Google Earth. Yes, it was one of a giant spider, <laughs> which was seen crawling on one of the, the movements. Hills. The organization hasn't been able to identify where the creature could have appeared. It's from. so dumb. I love how the video we watched tried to justify it as like a weird shadow thing. It's like, no, it's clearly a spider shape. It's just like it doesn't fit. It's not like the same quality as the rest of the image. The angling is wrong because you can tell by the light side on that rock that the rock is sloped upwards to the right, but the image is kind of like the spider's completely flat. It just looks so fake. Could it be the descendant of one of these giant spiders which was seen on the island? Let us nope. know your views on it. They also were not that Number big. Six, Loch Ness Monster. What? State of the art sonar equipment, a yellow submarine, and even a white witch have all been used to try and find the elusive Loch Ness Monster. The image that is provably fake by the person who sent it. Loch Mysterious images taken from space are making waves with Nessie fans as they appear to show a creature swimming in the world's most- We've seen this one before, right? I don't even remember what to say, I just like... Taking this as evidence that the fucking Loch Ness Monster is hilarious. Famous Loch. It's been feared that the 1500 year legend was over after 18 months without a recognized sighting. But now, enthusiasts' hopes have been raised once again. That's what raised their hopes. They went 18 months without a sighting and they were all like, damn, maybe the Loch Ness Monster isn't real. And then someone saw a shadow on Google Maps and they're like, we got him. UFO sighting in Antarctica. What? It is believed that a UFO landing site was found in Antarctica. In a screenshot of Google Earth, a huge disk was seen by a user. It could easily be the hiding place of aliens, as Antarctica is still the least discovered what? part of the world. In another image, you'll see a small depression in the snow. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm genuinely trying and I'm lost. An outstanding representative of the Russian UFO community, Valentin Degterev, believes that the location is a sign of alien life forms. An outstanding member of the Russian UFO community says that that, that image, is UFO activity. Number four, Megalodon. Let's go. Was this picture fearing. may provide the whereabouts, might not see or it. at least give some surety that the megalodon shark still exists. The photo was taken in the month of November 2017 from Google Earth. The picture taken shows a shadow. This is a different the picture. He's shown three different pictures. A shark. It was later sent to experts at the University of Columbia. They couldn't believe what they'd found. Due to the huge size of the creature, they strongly suggest it was a sighting of the megalodon shark. No, they did not. This was not sent to researchers at Columbia who then strongly suggested it was a megalodon. No one at the University of Columbia decided that. I'm so over it. Shark. What do you guys think? Believe it or not, you can also find that with the top down thing. Is that true, Whirly? Shark, top, down, transparent. I'd have to see it again. There are, the problem is they're all gonna look the same. Oh, is it this? turned and blurred no the tail bends the other way point is it's very easy to make things like this but yeah no the yeah, fucking 
University of Columbia had nothing to do with this. Jesus Christ. Number three, mysterious pyramid. Okay. This find from Google Earth shows an anomaly that some believe could be an unknown pyramid. But the security and economic situation in Egypt has limited the number and size of excavations. What? And with that, it's now time There's just a pyramid that they haven't excavated yet. And that is the strangest thing found on Google Earth. All right, well, everybody ready for our best pick? And for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. So wow. Across a photo online and a very to poorly photoshopped it, just send Google it over to us. image of a crab. We might even feature it in a future video. Number two. This picture wow. seems like it was photoshopped, but we get the idea behind it. What this image is referring seems to... Seems like it was photoshopped? Seems... I think it more than seems like. Why is it suddenly crystal clear here, but so blur? Oh my is god. Crabzilla. While some insist it's proof of Crabzilla, others argue that the shadowy figure is nothing more than a playful hoax. That one doesn't even make any sense. It shows the outline of a crab. It is shaped like a Japanese crab, which is the largest no, it's species not. of crabs. It is not it's shaped like a spider crab at all. 12 feet. It's Both shaped like a, like a blue crab. How are you going to say this is shaped like a spider crab? It's not even remotely shaped like that. Number one, Bigfoot. Okay, Bigfoot on Google Earth. A video posted on YouTube showed the photos taken from satellite imagery sites that showed a mysterious dark shape lurking in the forest along the Canadian highway in British Columbia, Canada. Cool. Interestingly, unidentified creatures can only be seen from a certain angle. Burnt wood. It's just a, it's just a trunk. I'm gonna give you various other things. Could be a bear. Could be a million things, but I'm, my guess is just a trunk, a wood trunk. YouTuber user Kevin Sherp believed in what he saw and wrote, quote, I told you that there's a Bigfoot. The evidence is- <laughs> Imagine posting this image, this blurry ass, slightly brown outline through some bushes and being like, I fucking told you that Bigfoot was real. God damn it, I'm right. Clear as it is today. However, other users say that it's just a tree trunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense because it is. It is just a tree trunk. That uh, that fits. I see that. See that relation. Whoa.